What's going on guys? Episode 7 now on the Ultimate Team Series and I'm taking the best in the world to take on this team that has an 82 overall and so it looks to be a pretty good matchup on paper and I want to introduce the newest player to my team. You saw a quick glimpse of him right there, Frank Gore. One of my subscribers had a lot of running backs and Frank Gore was expendable and so I traded them Vince Young for it, a very lopsided trade and and to anybody else that wants to offer me players at little to no cost, I'm going to have to decline even though I really appreciate it. I just want to build this team myself and I don't want to do it with uh, just creating a bunch of shortcuts for myself. And so we're in this game and Michael Vick has drove the team down the field and he's rolling out on that play. And we got the pressure to him and made him throw across his body. And I get into a good situation there and Devin McCourty is there for the interception. And he's going to take this one to the house. And so it's 7-0 early in this game, and my defense is continuing to play well and be the main factor in our successes so far in Ultimate Team. And I'm just dialing in the blitzes right now, and Manny Lawson picks up the sack there. I just don't want Michael Vick to have a lot of time to throw the ball deep. He has a really good arm, and I don't want him taking off. And so this is a good way to keep him under control. And we have the spy working in effect there, making it 4th and 21, and I will get the ball. And let's see how good our new running back is. Frank Gore out of the backfield. The dump off pass goes to him. He breaks the tackle and goes down the sidelines. But is stripped at the 22 yard line. And my opponent recovers. And so it's a huge turnover right there. Not a good first impression for Frank Gore. And so third and ten. And I'm just trying to keep Vic under control. And he's able to find a hole in my defense and exploit it for a big gain, sliding down at my 40-yard line. But I'm going to still bring the pressure to Vic. we got a backside blitz on this play. It's picked up, and Vic is flushed out to the left side. And Vic is now in panic mode, and he's finally stripped at his own 42-yard line. It's picked up by the linebacker, DJ Williams. It's going to be a scoop and score fumble return for a touchdown, and we're up 14-0 off of two defensive touchdowns. And we'll go into this next drive now. Vic out of the shotgun, and he's sacked on the play and fumbles the ball. It's picked up by Brace, and he's going to be down at the one-yard line. Jason Campbell would sneak it in for a touchdown, and I'll be up 21 to nothing relatively easily. And on the next drive, another fumble for Vic. This time it's picked up by Harris at the one-yard line. Another one-yard sneak for Jason Campbell. That was an easy victory, and I would get 1,300 points roughly in the process. And now I'm feeling hungry, so I want to take on this 90 overall player, and we'll check out his team. He's got Breeze at quarterback, AP at running back, and he's got a decent set of receivers, and he's got a pretty good offensive line. This guy has built his team very well, it seems. He's got a good defense, good offensive line. They got good skill players, and so I was up for the challenge, though. We'll show him. I'll show you the rest of his team right here. But I wanted to play this game. I'm an 83 overall team. I love being the underdog, and so I was ready to take it to him. He had the ball early in the game. He had Adrian Peterson. I want to keep him under control, and so I was setting up uh, cornerbacks on him, and it was working in the passing game. We'll go to second down and ten now, and AP goes nowhere. We're dialing up the pressure, and DJ Williams and crew are in there to make the tackle but we would have to stop Breeze in his passing attack he hooks up with Steve Smith on that play getting a first down close to midfield but we would get him in a third and long situation Drew Breeze out of the tight shotgun got a nice pocket of protection but Dominique Rogers Cromartie cuts off the route and it's an interception for the defensive back and he's showing off some nifty running moves getting close to midfield but we would not be able to score in that possession and we would go back on defense second and nine breeze out of the gun again and Craig Dahl over the middle what an interception there great play by the safety to step up and make a play and now it's time for us to establish our offense and we do so on the ground as usual Frank Gore picking up a first down on that play getting us into my enemy territory and now first down and 10 Campbell taking a shot deep Mohamed Masakoy one on one and he catches the ball in the end zone it's a touchdown we go up 7 to nothing and look to take control of this game first and 10 on his next possession and he's starting to establish his offense again Adrian Peterson we got to do a better job at stopping him an easy first down carry there for one of the most prolific running backs in the NFL and now running out of the full house Breeze drops back but is sacked and fumbles on the play but it's picked up by one of his offensive linemen and so it's second and long now and Breeze just lets it develop and he hits the screen pass to Adrian Peterson I don't do a good enough job at stopping those and Craig Dahl is able to wrap him up just before the first down marker but nonetheless it's a big 23 yard pass 
Later in the drive, now knocking on my door. Breeze looking over the middle. What an interception by Pat Angerer. Huge play, making a catch over the tight end. And now we get the ball back and an opportunity to extend our lead. Quick pass to Harry Douglas for the first down, converting on third down, extending the drive. Then first and five, Campbell. Quick slant to Roddy White, the star receiver, getting some love from Jason Campbell, extending the chains. And first down hitting Vontae Leach to fullback screen. This is one of the best plays in my playbook. I love running this play, and it works very well. And then Frank Gore, and he's taking a lot of bad tackling angles at me, and he's looking like he's going to get me on the sidelines, but he just doesn't wrap up. I don't know what happened there. And Frank Gore scores an easy 67-yard touchdown. We'll go into my next possession now, and Frank Gore getting the ball again and going up the middle. More bad tackling angles. This was an easy victory for me. I expected a lot more of a challenge, but that wasn't the case. 1,500 coins on the dot, and I know you guys like seeing purchases, but what I've been doing is just buying a lot of bronze packs, and I actually got Jack Del Rio in a bronze pack, and I added them to my collection. I got another one. Sold in an auction for double what it's worth just buying it off the game in coins and so I'm happy about that but I think my strategy now is going to be to save up 3,000 coins at a time and purchase one of the coaches I need at a time for my collection of the AFC coaches because I really want to get that 27,000 coins and start building more of my team I'm just playing very conservative right now with my contracts and I'm not taking any chances but we're going to the field again against another 90 overall team with an impressive roster. Trying to open up a screen game, but my blitz gets to Stafford before he can hit Barry Sanders. And now 4th and 7, another guy that wants to go for it every situation he can. And it's picked off by DJ Williams. I pride myself on playing good defense, and it's showing again. And so now we get great field position and an opportunity to score. I come out in a fullback dive, and he's coming out in a goal line defense. So what do I do? I'm not audible. Quick pass, touchdown. Who wouldn't do that? What are you doing, man? Come on. And he would do the same thing next drive and go for it on fourth down, and that would stop him, and he would fail miserably. And another touchdown to Muhammad Massacoy. This one a little bit more difficult, but it's the same result. And now on his next possession, 4th and 17, scrambling around, and he's just put on the ground by Corey Redding. I get the ball at the 1-yard line, I don't have to tell you what happens after that. 3rd and 11 on his next drive in the second quarter, and it's <laughs> tipped by Nate Allen and over to Craig Dahl. Good play right there, another interception. And I'm not going to show you the rest of the game because it was just embarrassing for him. 1,500 coins added to my bank account, and now... We're going to one more game in this episode against an 82 overall team. And to anybody getting mad out there saying that I only play against bad players, I can't help it. I'm showing every game I play. I'm playing against random head-to-head -head players in every game. Every game has been that way. Not one has been against a friend or the computer. And this player is going to have to do a good start against me. Jerry Rice burns me deep. I should have known better than to go one-on-one -on -one with Dominique rogers Camardi and only Craig Dahl has help. And so I'm going to establish my run now, not worrying about what has happened, but try to establish my own offense. And Frank Gore, great blocking by Roddy White in my offensive line. And Gore is going to spring this. 83 yards for a score. Two big plays to start off this game, but we need to get it controlled on defense. Vic hands off to Barry Sanders in second and short, and I have to stop two Hall of Famers on the field. I don't know why he had Walter Payton. It was kind of a waste just to have him on the bench when you could be giving up coins for him or a different player. And now he's looking deep again. Larry Fitzgerald this time. Craig Dahl is the victim to the deep ball this time. And it's another deep pass for a touchdown. And so I get beat on the deep ball twice. But I'm coming back. Quick pass to Tony Scheffler. And after poor tackling, Scheffler is going to pick up a huge amount of yards. Getting deep into his territory. Inside a field goal range. 56 yards for the tight end. And now 3rd and 11, the pass is the Scheffler, it's short of the first down marker, Mason Crosby would knock through a field goal, but we still have a lot of trouble on defense and we need to correct it immediately. He's going back to the deep ball, Dominique rogers Camardi is beat once again, Jerry Rice, it is just not working, I, I had to make the adjustments and I don't know how I let this happen to me, 3 drives in a row, nonetheless he's on the 1 yard line, easy 1 yard touchdown pass, and he extends his lead. We'll go into my next drive now. Jason Campbell, 3rd and 13, trying to convert for a first down. And it's picked off by Javier Arenas at the 31-yard line, giving him very good field position. And now I'm in a very bad situation because I don't want to go down by three scores. 
Second and ten. Play action to Sanders. Vic looking over the middle, and guess who's redeeming himself? It's Dominique Rogers Camardi making a clutch interception at the goal line, and he's going to get it to about the five-yard line, but at least we have the ball back and the opportunity to score some points. Jason Campbell hooking up with Roddy White, attacking his weak cornerbacks, and I should have been doing this from the beginning. So now we have something going on offense. Campbell out of the gun, looking over the middle. Roddy White with the catch. The safety tried to cut the pass off, and it did not work. So we're inside the five-yard line and would score a touchdown. We're going to his next offensive possession. Michael Vick dropping back, looking deep once again. But this time he's going to overthrow him, and it's picked off. Devin McCourty making the clutch interception. And just like that, we're back in this game, looking to take the lead now. We have the ball in his territory, and we're primed and ready to go for another score. First down and 10, Campbell gives to Frank Gore. Wide open hole in the middle of the field, and we take our first lead of the game, 24-21. And I had just really figured out my offense and defense in this game. We just started the click. Now I have triple coverage on this deep pass, and it's picked off once again by Devin McCourty. Larry Fitzgerald is not going to come up with that grab. And so I look to extend my lead before the half now. Jason Campbell looking deep. Somehow, Harry Douglas comes down with a grab. It's a 60-yard touchdown strike from Jason Campbell to Harry Douglas. I had completely stolen the momentum in this game and nothing was going right for him anymore. Michael Vick trying to scramble. He's sacked on the play by Adam Carricker. He's been playing very good at the end position for me and I'm very happy with his performance thus far. And then Campbell looking right and Dominique Rogers Camardi is not going to make any more mistakes. He gets another interception. He would get inside the five yard line giving us an easy opportunity for a touchdown and after starting off very slowly in this game I completely stepped on the gas pedal and shoved it down his throat. On this play Devin McCourty don't even try it his third interception of the game. I had so many interceptions this game once I started playing good defense and let's just say I may have ran up the score a little bit. But hey, I wanted the coins, and so I've just been saving my coins now, and we're now 19-1 and on this Ultimate Team, looking for win number 20 in next episode. That'll conclude episode 7. Hope you guys enjoyed it, even though the games weren't that good. I just brought you the last four games that I played. And so hopefully I finish the AFC Coaches Collection here pretty soon, and we can start building this team once again. And so I'll see you guys next time in episode 8.